Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with William. Today, we will be cooking egg rolls. Now, these might seem like some non-traditional ingredients, including Jimmy Dean hot sausage and coleslaw mix, but trust me, it's much easier. Now, to start, we are going to pour out our coleslaw mix onto a cutting board and just start chopping. I like it a little finer than the coleslaw mix typically comes, which is why I like to give it a fine chop so it looks like that. Next, I like a little bit more carrot, so I take a whole carrot, I peel off the outside layer and throw that away so it's nice and clean, and then I start peeling again, and I just keep peeling until the entire carrot is pretty much gone. It should look something like this. This is a really easy way to get really thinly sliced carrots just like this. These are a little long for my taste, so I like to give them a rough chop and then just add them back into the coleslaw mix. Now our vegetable mix is pretty much done, so we can start on the pork. We'll start with a few tablespoons of olive oil in a pan over medium heat, to which we will add one half of a chopped onion. Saute until it starts to get some color, and then add a few tablespoons of minced garlic. Saute until fragrant, and then add your Jimmy Dean hot breakfast sausage. This may seem weird in an Asian dish, but it really provides a really quick and easy way of getting flavor into the dish. Ground pork is hard to impart flavor into sometimes, so this gives it a shortcut. Now spread that out flat in the skillet and let it sit for three to five minutes. While this is sitting, we can add garlic powder, onion powder, ground ginger, and a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. After that is set and the bottom starts to brown, we can start stirring and chopping it up into smaller pieces. Keep chopping and stirring until all of the pink disappears and it looks something like this. You want it to be a smaller texture like this so it fits into the egg rolls. Now add in your coleslaw and carrot mixture and salt before mixing it in. This helps draw out some of the extra moisture. Start stirring that in until it's well combined. And then we can season with soy sauce, a little bit of gochujang, which is a Korean chili paste, and then stir to combine those flavors. Once it is fully cooked, give it a taste for seasoning. If you need salt, add a little bit of soy sauce or feel free to add a little black pepper. But once it's done, we can set that aside and start assembling. On a clean workstation, set out a bowl of water and some egg roll wrappers. I like wrappers that are about this size. They are typically bigger, but I like a thinner egg roll that gets nice and crispy. To start assembling, lay it out diagonally like a diamond in front of you. Spoon in your filling mixture and then wet the top and bottom corners. You will first fold the bottom corner over the mixture. You will then fold in the sides and then wet the top one more time and begin rolling it onto itself. Allow this to rest on a baking sheet seam side down while you work on the others. This takes some practice. I will show you how to do it one more time in this video. But really, it just takes time. The first few that you make, if this is your first time doing it, won't turn out well. The biggest piece of advice I can give you is to just be really precise when you're rolling and to make sure it's nice and tight. Once you've rolled up all of your egg rolls, you're going to want to fill a cast iron about three-fourths of the way up with vegetable oil and heat it to about 350 degrees, at which point you will add in your egg rolls and start frying. They usually take about 8 to 10 minutes to cook, but really you're just looking for a nice golden brown color like this. They should be nice and crispy and warmed through and golden brown, but not burnt. While you're cooking these, we can make a couple sauces. The first one is a spicy soy sauce, which starts with minced garlic, soy sauce, a little bit of gochujang, and some rice wine vinegar. Measurements are really loose for these, just add whatever you think you would like and whisk together. For my second sauce, it's sweeter. I'm going to start with some soy sauce, a little bit of sweet red chili paste, and some spicy honey. Whisk that together to combine and your second sauce is done. Once you've cooked up all of your egg rolls, serve it up with your two sauces and some crispy wonton strips, and you have fried egg rolls. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe and tell your friends. It really helps out a lot. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.